In this video, we'll look at a quick way of finding the partial fractions decomposition when looking at a distinct linear factor situation in the rational expression. So in this case, I've got 2x plus 1 with three distinct linear factors. We know that this should decompose into three terms, one for each of those factors. We need to find the numbers a, b, and c that are their numerators. To do that, we would clear the fractions, and on the right side, for each term, one factor would cancel, and the other two would remain. And that would occur in each term. One factor cancels, the other two remain. What we could then do is expand out and compare coefficients and set up a system of equations and try to solve that. But there's a nice quick way of doing that just by looking at the equation that I have in the box here. For instance, if I look at the um, expression on the right side, and if I was to evaluate it at x equal to 1, and the, left term, uh, the first term here I would have some number, but in the remaining two terms, because the factor x minus 1 is present, and over here it's present as well, it will give me 0 here and 0 here. So if I evaluate the left side at x equal to 1 and the right side at x equal to 1, I should get an expression that would allow me to solve for this unknown a. If I do that, on the left I get 3. On the right I get a times, and I'm going to plug 1 into each of those factors, so 1 minus 2, that will give me minus 1. And then 1 plus 1, so it will give me 2. And now I'm going to take that and divide a is minus 3 over 2. I'm just taking the expression and solving for a. I can do the same thing to find b. What's missing in b is the factor x minus 2. So that means I should evaluate it at x equal to 2. The other two terms will be 0. And I'll have an expression involving b only. So if I plug in 2 onto the left side of the equation, I get 2 times 2 plus 1, that's 5. And then if I plug it into the right side, I have b, and it's going to be 2 minus 1, that's 1. 2 plus, two, uh, 2 plus 1, that's 3, and I have an equation that tells me that b is equal to 5 thirds. To find c, I should evaluate at x equal to minus 1. Doing that makes this factor and this factor 0, and therefore will give me an equation involving only the unknown c. If I plug negative 1 onto the left, I get minus 2 plus 1, that gives me minus 1. And then I plug it into the right. The two first two terms will be 0. This one I'll have c times uh, minus 2. And then minus 3 here. Divide, and I'll get c is equal to 1 sixth. That tells me now my partial fractions decomposition. It's minus 3 halves, plus 5 thirds, plus 1 sixth, corresponding to each one of those terms. Now it's possible to even get those coefficients without even going to the trouble of first finding that boxed equation. What I could do if I want to find what a was, so here's a, it's over the x minus 1 factor. So I'm going to go over here to the left side and I'm going to cover up that factor x minus 1. I'm then going to plug into the numerator and denominator of the remaining factors the value of x equal to 1 that corresponds to the factor that I'm covering up. And when I do that, the numerator will be 2 times 1 plus 1. That was the 3 that we had on the left side here. And then when I plug it into the remaining two factors, I'll get minus 1 and 2. Those were the two terms or two factors that I had here. And I ended up having to divide by 3 and those two factors in order to find what a was. In other words, I could just evaluate the expression as it appears, covering up the factor that we're looking for and computing the expression as it stands. And if you do that, you get minus 3, and plugging in on the denominator, you get minus 2, or positive 2, and you, you recover A. Let's just try it for B. In order to find B, I'm going to look at the term that it corresponds to. That's the one with x minus 2. So I'm going to cover up x minus 2. I'm going to plug 2 into the remaining parts of the rational expression. Up top, I'll have 5. And then I'll have 2 minus 1 and 2 plus 1. That will give me 5 over 
3 when I'm done, and that gives me the 5 thirds that appears here. To find C, I'm now going to look at the factor that it corresponds to, cover it up, plug in the number that makes that factor 0, in this case minus 1, plug it into the rest of the rational expression, and when you do that you get 1 sixth. Let's practice this again with a new example. Let's take the integral of uh, x minus 1 over these three factors. Notice they're linear, x, x plus 1, and x plus 2. We know that it should break apart into three terms. I've left the numerators blank right now because I don't know what those coefficients are, but we're going to use this quick cover-up method to figure out what those coefficients need to be. If I want to figure out what should appear over x, I'm going to go to the rational expression. I'm going to cover up x. The factor that makes it 0 is value of x equal to 0. So I'm going to plug that into the rest of the expression. When I do that up top, I have minus 1. When I take x 0 minus 1, that gives me minus 1. And I divide by 0 plus 1, that's 1, times 0 plus 2, that's 2. In other words, minus 1 half is what appears over x using this cover-up method. In order to find what appears over x plus 1, I'm going to take minus 1 in the expression but covering up the middle factor. And if you plug minus 1 into everything that appears in the rational expression, you have minus 2 up top, you have minus 1 in the first factor, and you have 1, minus 1 plus 2, 1 in the third factor. We covered up the middle one. And when you're done, you have the number 2, and that's the coefficient that appears in the middle term. We can find what appears over x plus 2 by covering up this expression and plugging in minus 2 now for x in every other part of the expression. When you do that, you'll have minus 3 up top, minus 2 in the first factor when we plugged in minus 2 into x, and then minus 2 plus 1, so minus 1. Simplify, you get minus 3 halves. And there's the factors. We can integrate right away minus 1 half uh, log of x, 2 times log of x plus 1, and then minus 3 halves log of x. And I believe, it looks like I've forgotten the minus sign here, that should be minus there.